What's going on, my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome. Welcome. As you can see by this gameplay, we're going to be talking about the blowout rocket, which I'm sure everybody has about a thousand of them lying around because Crucible and Shax hands these out like candy on Halloween. My boy loves to give these out as Crucible rewards, and you can use that prosperity on your ghost if you're really really looking out to grind a five out of five roll so we're gonna go over pvp pve god rolls for you guys because i'm definitely bringing this legendary arc rocket with us into lightfall for a few different reasons First, we'll go over our origin traits for this weapon. So we have one quiet moment, which gains a nice increase to reload speed when we're out of combat. And it's pretty easy to get out of combat. In my personal opinion, you can see it proc in the lower left hand corner by hiding around a rock and just trying to stay out of sight of enemies for a little while. It's plus 40 to that reload stat. Our next origin trait right here is Suro Synergy. So one of the reasons why I like this rocket is reloading grants us a bonus handling and reduce incoming flinch. So we get that nice plus 40 to handling and 20% reduced incoming for flinch. So very, very nice for that sustained DPS. Switching on and off of this weapon with something like Wither Horde or Izanagi's. Switching back to it is very, very nice. And we have some nice perks we'll go over here as well. So right here for our PvP god roll, we're definitely building it out for blast radius with confined launch first. So we get that stability at plus 15, blast radius at plus 10. We do get minus 10 to velocity, but that's okay because the blast radius really is all that matters in my personal opinion. So we can get that nice crazy AOE effect with this rocket. Next on the list for PvP, we're going with Black Powder. So we again get that plus five to blast radius, minus 10 to stability, but we don't really need stability in a rocket in my opinion for PvP, especially with the perks that we're gonna have on it for our third and fourth column. But we're definitely looking for that plus in blast radius for sure. So like I said, we can hit those guardians around a corner and have that nice bigger AOE damage. Now for me, definitely taking tracking module on this bad boy so it adds the tracking capability of lockets to rock onto targets. Now this might hinder sometimes in Crucible because someone could bait it around a corner, but most times you actually need this because they're trying to run away and jump and this thing tracks them just enough to hit them and it's very, very clutch in Crucible in my personal opinion. That's why I love using it and definitely my pvp god roll has it on last but not least for pvp we're going with that cluster bombs so they spawn rocket cluster bombs on detonation there is eight of them that spawn so again this just helps for hitting those guardians around corners a little bit better with that nice aoe damage that this thing has very very nice especially with that tracking and that huge blast radius it has very very easy to get defeats on those guardians when you pick up heavy with this weapon now moving on to pve which is another reason why i really like this weapon it's very easy to earn inside of the crucible and i think it is going to be very nice inside of lightfall for our perks that we have on it so first we have smart drift control kind of the jack of all trades for rockets and explosives giving us a plus of stats in stability recoil velocity and handling so it's very very clutch in my opinion to have the best personal option for this it just gives it those nice juicy stats all over the place Next on the list, we're going with impact casing, a need for the PVE realm. It gives 10 to stability, plus it gives us 10% damage to impact damage. So when our rocket hits it directly, it gives us some nice increase to damage, making it super, super good for DPS on bosses, champions, whatever it may be. So for our third column, which makes this weapon very, very goaded, like I've said in other videos, Destiny loves, loves grenades, and so do I inside of the PvE realm. So we're running Demolitionist on this, so kills with this weapon generate grenade energy, and we actually reload the weapon when we throw our grenade. So if we're doing a DPS on a boss with that fourth perk we're gonna have, we can do 
a rocket throw our grenade shoot another rocket and if we happen to have something on like starfire protocol where we have two fusion grenades that gives us three rockets basically instantly on an enemy without having to reload because of demolitionist and that double grenade and last but certainly not least for me i'm running explosive light on my god roll one of the reasons i think it's going to be good in a light fall is because of the change to the system for combat instead of having those war mine cells and elemental wells we're going to be focusing on orbs of power so while being able to overcharge this with that stacks of that damage is super super nice at 25 percent increase for each of those orbs that we pick up with this thing stacking up to times six and i think it's going to be very easy to get this to proc because of all the orbs of power guardians are going to be creating because we're not going to have that diversity of wells war mines whatever everyone's going to be creating orbs of power now so explosive light very very clutch going forward into lightfall and definitely my god roll for pve so thank you guys so much for watching get to grinding that crucible get shacks yelling for you and get to getting one of these blowout arc rockets definitely super nice and very easy to earn with some pretty banging perks going to be super nice meta inside of lightfall so thank you guys again truly appreciate that support i'll catch you guys in the next one peace